about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out channel and welcome to another day in the life today is friday june 10th it is about 8 a.m right now i got in to the office a little bit ago and i started my day by making some coffee and then also i was knew that i was going to be filling orders today and that i was pretty low on my freebies so i went ahead and got some going on the graph tech so you saw a little bit of that so i have some more here and then right now the graph tech is cutting some more so i have um a good stack of them and i'll be in good shape i wanted to cut a bunch because today's actually new releases for august so i know you know today and over the weekend i'll have more orders coming through so i just want to make sure that's one less thing that i have to worry about and i have it all ready to go um i'll have to show you guys i'll have to switch you guys around and show you guys something new that i picked up for this area um you've probably seen it in like one or two other day in the lives but it's basically a like white dust stand and it comes in really handy for like freebies and pens and sticky notes and all the things that I normally use when I'm billing orders. So I'll switch you guys around and show you guys that in a second. But yeah, today the game plan, I have my planner here. I went ahead and planned everything out last night. <clears throat> But today, like I said, is August new releases. So I have a running to-do list of things that I need to do for that. Um, I'll probably do that closer to like 8.45. And then the only other things that I want to do today is I want to fill orders. I have about 35 open orders right now. And then I have some items that I want to get restocked. Um, I always keep like an ongoing list of things that need to be restocked. There's not much that needs to be restocked, but it would be good to go ahead and start working on that like as I have free time because again, next week is gonna be really crazy with filling orders for the new releases. Um, I also would love to finalize the mystery kit. So when you guys are watching this, it's Monday. On Friday are mystery kits. And this time around, I'm going to offer compact vertical kits as well. So there's going to be hourly vertical, um, seven by nine daily duo, a5 daily duo and compact vertical so there's lots of choices this time around but i wanted to like finalize everything because next week as i'm filling orders the graph tech will be cutting those um in the past we've been really ahead when i had my brother here he was helping me fill orders and cut and stuff i was really ahead i feel like i'm just kind of right on time at this point so i'm definitely going to be working on catching back up and I think that'll be easier as things kind of slow down a little bit in my personal life but yeah that's the game plan today I'm going to be keeping an eye on anything that sells out so we can restock that I'm going to be filling orders trying to knock out all the open orders <clears throat> and then if I have time 
I'm going to go ahead and like finalize the mystery kit and like figure out how much I want to cut and all of the logistics behind that. Um, so yeah, not too crazy of a day, but definitely stuff that I need to get going. I'll bring you guys along with me as I continue on with the day and I'll pop in if there's anything specific that like just seems like it's worth mentioning. But yeah, so far you guys seem to really enjoy all of the kits for August. So I'm really excited about that. I already picked out my September kits and I submitted the washi order for that as well. The September kits are so beautiful. I'm so excited for them. Um, and I feel like it's a really good mixture of things. I've been really trying to like mix things up so that, you know, if you don't necessarily love florals, there's other options. So um, don't get me wrong still florals but yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get into orders but I figured I would just introduce you guys to the video and again I'll pop in in a little bit okay so guys this is what I was just talking about I figured I would just show you before I forget so I got this off Amazon I'll have it linked down below um it's honestly perfect because I feel like when I'm sitting here I need something that's I need the computer a little bit up, up higher um also I have a lot going on here like I have a lot of stuff on my desk and I feel like I need more space and more storage um, especially for stuff that I'm constantly using so I like that as I'm filling orders I can kind of tuck this away um, that can go underneath I also got this pink mat from Amazon so I will also link this I think it was like ten dollars um, but I like that I can kind of tuck this away I love that I can have my pens up here, um, my little sticky notes. I use all of these when I'm filling orders. There's a few little slots here. I think this is for keeping your phone, but I have a case on my phone, so that doesn't really work. But it comes in really handy for putting all of the freebies so that like they're in my face, I see them. That way I can just kind of grab one, put it in the order. Here's a place where you can put your drink. I usually just keep my water here, but um, you can kind of see how that looks. And then um, I love that like, you know, the computer sits really nicely on there, but I can also have other stuff like this is my phone charger, so I can just leave it there. And then I have stuff in here. So um, just like extra sticky notes, stuff that like I had over here um, and just kind of cluttered up and then nothing is currently in here. But I just really like the way that it looks. I really like that like it keeps things more organized, like I can grab things very quickly. And this thing was only $30 and it came put together like I didn't have to do anything but take it out of the box so I don't know I think it's a something that's definitely worth it but again I just figured I'd mention it it comes in really handy for freebies and then I still have my freebie holder over here but that's for more like older freebies so if I'm ever like planning um, and I want to grab something I'll do that once in a while someone will ask for like an older freebie so if I have it I'll give it to you um, but yeah anyway that's this little area here
right guys, so it is about 10 o'clock right now. I just got done filling orders, you guys probably saw that. And then I also prepped an additional 17 that were open as of this morning. So I'm gonna get those out today as well, just because I want to you know, only have orders that came in today open. That way on Monday and then the rest of the week I can work on getting all those orders out. As I was prepping the orders, I realized that I had some custom scripts that I needed to create and I felt like that would be a good chance for me to talk a little bit about how custom scripts are changing in my shop. So I think her name is Gilia. Gelia? Um, I see you all the time in the orders. You seem to place a lot of orders and you're always such a great supporter of my shop. So thank you so much. But she recently placed an order and had four custom scripts. So I have two of those designed here. I have one that's like queuing up and printing and then I have one more that I need to design. So you'll probably see me looking at my computer pretty soon because I'm gonna go ahead and like do that as I'm talking to you guys. But um, you guys know that I picked up the new standalone um, CE 7000 for um, custom scripts and I honestly up until this week did not have any time to even play around with it so I'm like okay let me as I'm cutting stuff for August let me go ahead and start learning how to use this machine and honestly when I started messing around with it I was not taking it super seriously. I'm like, I'm just gonna try and see if I can figure it out. And if not, like, I'm just gonna focus on getting August out and then I'll worry about, you know, trying to learn this machine later. And luckily, I did a little bit of research beforehand and I was able to figure it out pretty easily. So um, that honestly feels really nice to like have this machine up and running. But the reason why I wanted to get this machine is because the silhouettes have just been giving me a lot of issues when it comes to customs. I feel like in the past they were way more reliable and I don't know if it's because like over time the silhouettes just don't work as well or what, but I feel like it they've been way less predictable and that's not something that I want for my business. I want the quality to be very consistent. So regardless, I picked up this new machine and I've been figuring it out. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to load the paper in. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it cuts. I'm gonna show you guys um, what the cuts look like after. And then I'm gonna also time the machine and let you guys know how fast it goes. There are some weird quirks with this machine. So if you are thinking about purchasing this, please go into it knowing that you're definitely going to have to learn it. It's not a super straightforward thing. I am using Graph Tech Studio, which is very similar to the Silhouette Studio. I personally prefer the Silhouette Studio to, and the Graph Tech Studio um, compared to like Adobe. So honestly, it's just kind of like whatever you prefer. There's a few different softwares that you can use with this machine, but that's just the preference that I have. And I feel like because I've already had a lot of experience with Silhouette, it just makes the most sense. There's an order. Um, it just makes the most sense to do it this way. So yeah, I'm excited to share it with you guys, the whole process. Um, I'm so grateful. I wanted to really quickly say, I'm so grateful because when my other machine broke, I feel like the warranty, the whole process there was really a great experience. And it gives me a lot of hope with these machines and graph tech in general that like, you know, if I have any issues that they're there, um, it's way better than what I originally thought when I purchased the machine, like the support that you can get. The other thing that has been amazing recently is I feel like, um, through the process of buying this new machine, I found a group of shop owners who also have this machine. And I feel like there's such this such an amazing support there as well. The few shops that have this machine that I've been in contact with have been amazing. If I have questions, if they have questions, I feel like we're all willing to like share our experiences, share what like works for us, what doesn't work for us. When my machine broke, I like as soon as it broke, I like started doing some troubleshooting on my own. And then I 
messaged a few of the shops that I've talked to about the machine and was just like, hey, have you had this happen before? And every single person was like, no, I haven't seen that. Like, and one of them even started looking up like fixes and stuff for me. And I'm like, you're amazing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is throughout this process, I've been blown away with graph tech support. I've also been really blown away by the amazing shops that I have contact with who are always willing to answer questions that I may have or that like other people may have. They're always willing to like look, um, look and find solutions for stuff. I feel like it's just amazing having a group of people who like a group of women who are willing to help each other out because that's not a common thing. Like it's definitely not a common thing. And when you're a shop owner, it's very isolating because there it's not like, you know, a restaurant or something where like there's restaurants everywhere. Like you just go to a restaurant, ask questions or whatever. Like I feel like it's just a different thing because it's all online. And so it's just so amazing. And I'm so grateful for the shops who are really supportive and who are willing to help out other shops. I feel like that's amazing. And I try and do that too. Like I always try and um, troubleshoot stuff with other people. And if you have questions about machines and stuff, I feel like I'm always really open to answering questions and stuff like that. So again, I'm just really grateful for that. I feel like it's amazing that, you know, I have this little group of shop owners who want to help each other out. I love that. So I'm printing out the last sheet and once that is done, I will go ahead and show you guys how the machine works and all of the fun stuff that goes along with it. Okay, so the last one's printing. You can probably see it coming out there. Um, I wanted to show you guys how I have this set up. So um, I have my I have my computer here set up. This is where I used to have like my other machines, but now they're moved over there. Um, I like this area because I have some more workspace. So like when I'm cutting down stickers and stuff like that, I have space. Um, but this is the machine. I believe it's the same exact machine that I have connected to the automatic sheet cutter or um, sheet feeder. But I'm not sure because I tried in the past to connect to this one to the automatic sheet um, feeder and it didn't work. So I'm not sure exactly why it's different or if it's set up a little bit different. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and flip on the switch. It's over here. And the it originally it's going to look exactly like the other machine over there. It's going to power on. And then it says load media. So that's what I'm going to do now. And this machine does not use a mat just like the other machine does not. I'm going to keep talking to you guys and try and like show you guys as much as I can. So I'm going to be cutting this sheet here, which just says close rings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and load this and make sure you guys can see the whole process. So basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure that these rollers are lifted and then you're going to want to put this in as straight as possible. So right now what I'm doing is I'm lining it up against this little ledge right here. And I'm trying to make sure that it's kind of centered a little bit so that the rollers, both the rollers are like a good amount on the paper. And once I have that set up, let me just move you guys and show you guys. See how it's against this edge here? Um, I try and set it up as evenly as possible. And then like I said, the rollers are on both of the um, I don't know why it's not letting me touch it, but anyway, um, the rollers are on the paper. So now I'm going to pull this lever back here. This is like a hot mess. <laughs> so now the, um, it's locked in place and I'm going to press a button so that it knows where I want it to be. It's going to do the little thing where it moves. And then I need it to make sure that this I don't know if it's called a camera or a reader or whatever. It needs to be lined up for this first registration mark. So I'm going to go ahead and do that using some of these buttons. And I feel like this is kind of the tricky part because I feel like depending on where you put it, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more picky. So it might read the registration marks and then it may like give me an error message. So I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and send it now. So I'm sending it to Cutter. And you're going to see, it's going to read the registration marks. And usually if it gets to that fourth one, then it's good to go. 
So now it's just going to cut everything and I actually forgot to time it so I'll do it with the next one just so you guys can get an idea. But that's real time how it's cutting. And I also set it up so that it can do exactly what my other machine does. So not only does it cut the stickers like on the sheet, but it's gonna cut the outside of the sheet as well so that like all I have to do is just take the outside off and it's ready to go. But you can kind of see how quickly it is cutting. And I'll take one of the stickers off a little bit so you can see the quality as well. Um, I just, I love that like every single sticker on this page is going to be cut, be cut exactly the same. I would ha I ha do have to say, this software, and I think even if you use a different software, is a little different from the iMark software. The iMark software, um, you can make manual adjustments. So if you notice that a sticker is cut too far this way, too far this way, too far up, down, you can easily make adjustments that way. There's not really a way, an easy way that I know of right now to do that. And so that's like the only thing that I wish that the software and this machine in general had, because I feel like that would make a huge difference. But again, I figured it out enough to make it work. And um, I've cut quite a bit of customs this week with it and it's worked out really well. So that's really all that I can ask for, but I'll keep showing you guys kind of what it looks like. The thing that I touch is not working, so it's not letting me like zoom in or anything, but. So now it's gonna do the outside really quick. And then let me put you guys down and I'll show you guys. So you will have to lift the lever up to get it out. And then there you go. It is good to go. Cuts look amazing. Um, so let me flip you guys around so I can show you what it looks like. And so you can see, hopefully the camera will zoom in good enough for it because I feel like my little touch screen thing's not working. I don't know why, but anyway, here is one of the stickers. Why is it not working? <laughs> Uh, here we go I think I got it I don't know how that got turned off but regardless here we go so here's the closed rings you can see that's like a perfect cut um, and they're all exactly the same like no matter where you go on this on the sheet they're all perfect so I'm really excited about this for you guys, for myself, for everybody. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut a new one and I'll show you guys the time and how long it takes to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have my stopwatch all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and load this in. I'm not gonna count the time that it takes to load because I normally don't do that for the other machines either, but um, it does take a little bit of extra time to like set it up. I feel like once you get it down though, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead now and send it. And I'm putting on the stopwatch now. So from the time that it reads reg registration marks to the time that it cuts, this is going to be how long it takes. So you can see that it's going. I'll pop back in in a little bit and show you guys how long it took total. All right guys, so it's finishing up now. And it took a total of two minutes and 54 seconds to complete one sheet. So that is honestly amazing because like I said, <laughs> like I said, that would take probably over eight minutes or so. Is this zoomed in? I feel like you guys are zoomed in. Yeah, definitely zoomed in a little bit. Um, it would have taken probably eight or nine minutes for this sheet and the cuts look amazing. So um, yeah, that took, like I said, less than three minutes total to cut one. Um, so I think it's definitely worth it because again, every single, like I wish, I'm gonna show you guys, I'll flip you guys around in a second, but every single cut on this sheet is exactly the way that it should be. Every single one. Um, and the fact that it can cut one sheet in less than three minutes 
and that's not even on the fastest setting like it honestly could go way faster than that I feel like that's just amazing like I yeah I'm just amazed so I think that if you do customs in your shop and you have some extra money if you're having issues with silhouettes this may be a good option um, again there's a learning curve it's not the most simple thing to learn the software is a little different setting up the machine is not the easiest um, but I feel like it's worth it in my opinion for my shop because having the consistency and the speed will definitely help me so much so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other two I have another sheet over there um, and then I'm gonna get back into filling these orders because I want to get the rest of those out but I just figured I would pop in and show you guys how quickly this machine works and like I said there's definitely a learning curve but I was able to figure it out so if I'm able to figure it out you guys will be able to figure it out um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these started and I'll pop back in in a little bit and let you guys know what is happening I can show you guys these cut lines as much as I can um, I feel like you might be able to see them here so see how these cut lines are all the same do you see that and same thing here like you can probably see around around them they're like exactly the same i feel like there's no other good way of showing you guys unless i like pulled the sticker off more um but they're so consistent and that's one thing that just i love about these machines It's a little bit later I went ahead and finished all of the orders um, so I'm going to take off to the post office drop off both batches of orders and then head home later tonight I think I'm gonna get some designing done and then also work on getting this video edited and uploaded I've really been liking getting the video done like first thing on Friday that way I have the weekend where I can kind of just chill and not worry about work stuff so um, yeah and I will have orders like if you place an order today a lot of those orders will start going out on Monday so that's gonna be exciting um, so yeah anyway don't forget to pick up this month's mystery kit it will be up on Friday so definitely mark your calendars but I'm gonna go ahead and take off so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye guys mm -hmm.